Hey everyone, this is Sarah from Sweet Glamour Makeup. I am um, wanted to do a video to show you guys my new Zuka bag that I got from the Pro Store. And um, it's really awesome. I really like it a lot. Um, this top part here is actually the uh, weatherproof case. And so if you're raining or traveling, um, it's really good to remove or protect your Zuka bag. This is the handle. Um, and what I really like too about this is that it's uh, like basically like a seat that supports up to 300 pounds. So it's really cool if you, you know, are small in space, you don't have anywhere for your client to sit down, they can just pop a seat there. And um, this one has the MAC emblem embossed on the front. Um, it also has a buckle to secure your products. And inside I will show you everything that I have for uh, my freelance kit. I will also link a video below that showed my previous um, case that was much larger and was just a lot heavier and harder to use. So, initially the Zuka bag comes with four pouches. Um, I had to purchase two additional ones um, from eBay for $20 because they only came with four. So, if you have a lot of products, um, the Zuka bag you will definitely need to condense. The first um, thing I have is my skincare products. You always want to have sanitizer, alcohol, moisturizers, makeup removers, um, serums, primers, eye creams. Those are all essential to prepping the skin um, prior to makeup application. And um, here you have a spot for the label where you can know what it is, which I still need to do. This is um, my pouch for my palettes. I don't put all my palettes, only depending on the job. I'll take what I need um, because, again, I had to really downsize. And I just take what I need at the time, depending if it's a bridal job, TV, um, things of that nature. I definitely um, don't have room to carry everything that I had before, so... That's the only downside I would say to the Zuka bag is the capacity, um, but I'm sure some people could definitely get away with putting a lot less. This here is my um, lip bag that I have, and it's really good um, to put a lot of different lip glosses, lipsticks. My favorite are Pro Longwear lip colors because they come with the gloss. And the lip color, they're great for weddings because they stay on 8 hours. Um, I also have various lipsticks, glosses, lip pencils. You really want to have a variety of shades to suit different skin tones. Um, and also maybe some different lip palettes are good. Um, I like to have a good variety because you never know. You can always mix and match uh, shades if you need to. And this is an older MAC one that I have that I really like because it has a good assortment of colors. So I definitely recommend having a variety. Eventually I would like to depot all my lipsticks and put them into one large palette because it is kind of cumbersome just having so many loose lipsticks. Now my next pouch here is my foundations and uh, a lot of times I make just samples of what I need um, at the time. Uh, a lot of Studio Fix Fluid samples for MAC, Studio Sculpt, just different foundations and different shades. Um, I really also like the Graftobian palettes, um, the Temp 2 Corrector Wheel is great for redness, also the Concealer Wheel, because again, you can mix and match shades if you need to. This is the Senna palette, which is amazing pigmentation, um, 
and I got that at the makeup show. Graftobian palettes are a staple of mine. I really love the texture. They photograph really well for different photo shoots and bridal and uh, again a little bit goes a long way with those. They double as a concealer and a foundation. Another favorite of mine are the MAC Studio Finish Concealer Pro Longwear. Um, the Bobbi Brown Correctors are amazing for really dark circles. They counteract blue and purple when you get the peach shades. So I will do a video on that eventually. I also got the new uh, matte concealer and corrector palette. Um, which is nice because it actually has um, six colors. So again, you can customize the shade if you need to. And my next bag that I will have is going to be um, mascaras, eyeliners, eyelashes. Always good to have an assortment of those. Um, paint pots are really good for priming the eyes. You just want to have an array. Also brow pencils are really good to have as well. Brow gel. Just universal. Clear works very well. And um, again, different mascaras and lashes. Um, depending on the job that you might need, you never know what you might run into. So, just having a good variety. And last but not least, I have my foundation powder, setting powder, I have some um, NARS foundation powder, Chanel, YSL, um, different skin tones, so it's good to always have that as well. Another essential that you definitely want to have is going to be disposable products, and I do keep um, a case of that with mascara wands. Lip gloss, uh, lip gloss wands, sponges, uh, spatulas, just disposables that you will need um, anytime you're doing a job so that you're more sanitary. And um, on the side here, there's a mesh holder, which I do keep my brush um, roll in with all my brushes. This you can purchase at the pro store. It is similar to the brush roll that we use at the counters. Um, and it just holds so much. Definitely recommend um, lash scissors, manicure scissors, um, duo lash adhesive. Because you never know um, when you might need them. And... This um, really just holds a lot in the different compartments. Um, they do have the mesh on both sides. It does come with double wheels, which is really good, um, like I said, for traveling. It just makes it much easier um, on your back when you don't have to lug around a very large suitcase. And also... This is the bag of all my stuff that did not fit, unfortunately. So basically, I had to not, um, I had to really condense a lot of products because, like I said, the Makazuka is great, but it doesn't hold as much as um, you would think it does. So just condensing, I really had to do that. And eventually I might integrate them in somehow, but these are all the products that I could not fit. Palettes, eyelashes, just kind of sad about that. But what can you do? you got to make a sacrifice somewhere, I suppose. Um, yeah, that's all the stuff that I had to take out. Um... But anyways, I would highly recommend the Zuka bag. It is $2.79, so it is an initial investment, but it will pay off in the end. Um, and it's very fashionable. It's MAC. Who doesn't want that? 
This here is my secondary case, which is very dirty. Sorry about that. It's a Mac carry-all. And that one is really good um, for just putting additional things maybe that you couldn't fit in there. So I hope you enjoyed this review on the Makazuka bag. Um, when I was initially looking to purchase one, I didn't see very many, so I thought that this might help. And um, you can purchase this from Mac Pro Stores. And if you are a Mac Pro member, through the online website as well. So it's very sturdy, um, very good to use. And I would recommend it for any traveling makeup artist, for freelance gigs, bridal, whatever you may need it for. Um, it's very sufficient. Oh, and there's my doggy Muffin. Say hello. My little cute doggy. He's a little... Um, Chihuahua mix. He's a little crazy sometimes. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. And I would like to hear uh, your feedback. If you have a Zuka bag, what do you think about it? Let me know. Um, leave um, some comments below. And if you enjoyed this review, please also subscribe to my channel. And I will be making new videos soon. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Ciao!